Patients with inguinal hernia usually have a bulge on the lower abdomen that causes discomfort or even pain. Minimally invasive surgical repair is done by making three small incisions, a 1 cm diameter and two 5 mm diameter, for the placements of equipment. Surgical instruments will be placed between the muscles and the peritoneum through the incisions. Now, the surgeon will inject carbon dioxide into the canal between the peritoneum and the site of herniation to separate the abdominal wall and the peritoneum. The blood vessels around the hernia sac will be separated by forceps. During the process, the bulge will start to shrink. Then surgical threads will be placed to tie the top and the bottom of the hernia. A cut will be made in the middle by surgical scissors. Finally, a mesh will be placed between the muscle layer and peritoneum, secured by surgical nails, to prevent mesh migration. Since the mesh is placed in between the layer of muscle and peritoneum in minimally invasive surgery, while the mesh is placed in between the muscle layers, minimally invasive surgery can prevent pain induced by movements in the muscle layers after surgery. For bilateral hernia, Minimally invasive surgery requires only three small incisions to repair both sides. Conventional surgery needs to be done by larger wounds on both sides. Here is the comparison between minimally invasive surgery and conventional ones. Minimally invasive surgery has relatively smaller wounds. The mesh will be placed between the muscle layers and peritoneum, which can prevent pain induced by movements in the muscle layers after surgery. Moreover, only three small incisions have to be made to perform surgery on hernias on both sides. Conventional surgery has to cut through the muscles for mesh placement, which could be spared in minimally invasive surgery. Therefore, the pain experienced by patients who have conventional surgery would be more intense.